Up first this evening, reactions to the decision by former Prime Minister PJ Patterson to officially retire from the UK-based Privy Council, an advisory group to the Queen. Mr. Patterson made the announcement through a press release to the media on Thursday. Herman Green has our story. The retirement letter from former Prime Minister PJ Patterson to the Clerk of the Privy Council, Richard Tilbrook, is dated March 30, 2022. Mr. Patterson cited Jamaica's national consensus on effecting the process of removing the Queen as head of state and his strong support for the change as reasons for his retirement from Her Majesty's Privy Council. This Privy Council is not to be confused with the UK-based Court of Appeal. Her Majesty's Privy Council is an advisory committee made up of representatives from Britain and Commonwealth countries. Jamaican attorney at law, Dr. Lloyd Barnett, explains that it's one of the oldest elements of the British government. It does not land on anything really of importance. In fact, its previous name was the Committee of Trade and Plantation. And um, it's symbolic more than anything else. And there are different leaders of the Commonwealth who are also members of that advisory committee, and Mr. Patterson is one. Once appointed, membership to the Privy Council is for life. However, Mr. Patterson's tenure ended with a confirmation letter from the Council dated April 14, 2022. Like Dr. Barnett, attorney at law Bert Samuels believes Mr. Patterson leaving the Council is consistent with Jamaica's plans on becoming a republic. Overdue, time come. Republic is inconsistent with any titles derived from the British monarch. Welcome news. Well, it is part of the statement of national patriotism. It is a statement of our identity as a nation, and therefore uh, it has some relevance to the fact that we are seeking to assume a republican status. Of note, Prime Minister Andrew Holness is also a member. He was appointed in 2021. While Mr. Patterson has left the Privy Council, as an attorney, he remains a Queen's Council, QC. Mr. Samuels believes that if Jamaica's government members and the legislative representatives are serious about becoming a republic, there should be a separation of all these links with the monarch. The old vestiges of that atonism on the distant past continues to be embraced by people who don't seem to have learned their history enough. And that is why the whole idea of being Queen's Council as a lawyer, where you take a pledge to work for the Queen and you won't do any matters against her, you won't charge her any fees, that continues and it is in dire contradiction to self-esteem, self-pride and a denial of our true history. Herman Green, TVJ News.